lower Ngaikha Junior and Higher Primary School, subjected to poor ablution facilities. Built by the Transkai homeland more than 40 years ago, these pit toilets have never been upgraded since, posing serious health and safety risks to teachers and learners, some of the learners as young as six years old. Elena sank two years ago in one of the pit toilets, forcing them to seek alternatives. Children are forced to use the open felt to relieve themselves because using these is dangerous and they are difficult to keep clean. They are in a very bad state. We once had to pull out one of our learners from the toilet after the floor caved. They are very old. Even my parents use the same toilets. There's a massive sanitation backlog in Eastern Cape schools. According to the National Education Infrastructure Management System report, 366 schools are without ablution facilities. In this financial year, the Eastern Cape Education Department um, is contracting 250 plus uh, abortion facilities to schools who had no sanitation facilities at all. Now, it's part of the intervention of the, of the department to ensure that we restore dignity to our learners and, and educators through providing them with sanitation um, in their schools. In addition to the health hazards, children say the lack of proper sanitation here affects negatively their education. They want their dignity to be restored. Unatipin was a CBC News. Offenbar.